I have them. I have the figures that are out before the actual game is the security breach action figures. At least two of them. Uh, two of them, which I think actually look decent. The others I'm a little iffy about. I might get them. But I'm starting off by getting Glamrock Freddy and Fanny herself. And these characters both look amazing. Uh, I did unpackage them already, but if you do want to know my thoughts about the packaging, I think it's fine for what we have and for we, what we've always gotten. I think that the packaging isn't too much you know it's not too bad uh there are a few complaints i have maybe the logo could have been placed a little bit um higher because the the, lit, the logo kind of goes into where the plastic would and it kind of it's kind of harder to see the logo when the action figure is in there so not the greatest there but overall i do actually think this is a really really uh good packaging uh for this wave but let's actually go ahead and look at these figures. I'm going to start off with Glamrock Freddy, since uh, Vanny's, uh, in my opinion, the cooler figure. So yeah, um, so here we have Glamrock Freddy. His accessory is this mic stand right here. Um, I'll get him out of the way real quick just so you can focus on this. But um, here's the mic stand, and it actually, the mic in it is detachable, which I was not expecting um but it's really really cool and you can always have glamrock freddy just hold this thing in his hand like so just like a normal mic and his uh his joints are falling apart just like a normal freddy or you can have him i believe hold the mic stand so you know it's up to you i think he can much easier actually hold the mic itself um but he can hold the mic stand with the mic in it so um again it's very it's very odd because uh it's, his hand is way bigger than this mic stand but he can technically hold it uh it, it easily falls out though so you do want to make sure it's balanced and his joints just keep falling um <laughs> but yeah so let's actually talk about articulation now so it's it, again anything that you would expect for funko action figures um his head spins his his arms move and they're actually really really smooth in this wave uh his waist pivots just like sister location and um again his hand his uh, arms move his his hands swivel from the side to side as you can see and his legs <laughs> his legs uh do move just as as you would think they do his feet do not move a lot of people are talking about like why aren't the feet moving well <laughs> they're they 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 never have been able to and uh yeah so as for the paint and stuff i think it's really really good this is obviously a repaint of funtime freddy uh his head uh there are a few things obviously it doesn't have the face plates and uh his hat is different and um also doesn't have the the, the cheeks but um his, his head actually if we were to look at the, the official poster i can see what they were going with Okay, I can see where Funko was actually trying to go with this, but the fact that they just straight up repainted honestly does not help this at all. Um, it really doesn't. Um, the head shape is, again, it's somewhat close to the poster. I get where they were trying to, to go with this, but to me and to every, most everyone else, it just falls flat. His teeth um, are supposed to be sharp and kind of fangy in parts, and, uh, this figure just doesn't do that at all. Um, the rest of his body, though, looks absolutely good. Like, his, his head actually, like, has all the stuff that it should have where it's supposed to be. Um, and he has, um, you know, obviously his hat's kind of in the side, he's got his earring, he's got his face paint, um, He's got, the colors are very accurate with him. He's a bit of a lighter shade for a Freddy. Um, he has his kind of pads here, which can be um, taken off, I'm sure. So you gotta be very careful. And they're actually attached to his torso. Um, his arms look good. The only thing here is that he's missing the spikes around his handcuffs, which is something. Um, also, this kind of zigzag pattern is really, really good and accurate. Um, also, it's pretty cleanly painted, honestly. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Um, again, same thing with this arm. Uh, it, it should have the spikes on there. And for his uh, legs, again, he's got like the, the kind of pants that kind of point outwards, just lady style, I guess. Um, his feet are actually really, really cool. I like them because uh, the, the shape looks really good and, and also the blue uh, toenails 
uh, very very cool all overall i actually really like this guy um again the the, the biggest criticism and the most off-putting thing about this figure is the head um it does look a lot better in real life i do have to say um looking at him you know face to face he actually looks a lot better um but still he's a he's a repaint with the head which isn't great um but i do like this figure i do think he's really really cool and he again his accessory the mic stand with the mic is obviously something really really neat and uh honestly i like it again it's just it's it's so loose i don't know how that uh, is supposed to work um but overall a really really cool figure let's move on to vanny now um here she is and her accessory is this uh knife which is actually very very cool it's um it's actually about the size of her head give or take a little bit um and yeah it's decently big again it's just a knife so it's shiny and also has the black you know handle obviously and i just dropped it it's it's quite small honestly um but yeah so the figure herself actually i'm just gonna show you um the the knife doesn't really fit all that well i don't know like you can she can hold it but it's very loose like as you can see just just moving it a little bit it falls off um the figure herself this is probably the best figure in the wave uh i'm gonna talk about all sorts of things with this figure the articulation is is a bit different uh feeling at least to me this the, the articulation feels uh again very loose but not falling apart i feel like that's a, a key theme with this wave as far as articulation like it, it's loose it's movable it's not falling apart but it's movable um <clears throat> so her joints are the same as all of the other fnaf ones uh, i kind of wish that it was more humanoid looking but it is what it is uh, and the figure it looks halfway decent honestly um the articulation with the head is where i noticed the most difference because like it she has the neck here and um it kind of it kind of doesn't cause for much movement i mean it causes for enough movement as much as you're gonna need but um she can't look all the way up or all the way down um or she can't like tilt her head too much um but overall it, it is a fine uh figure as, as far as articulation uh her waist can move right here her um again her arms move her hands can again swivel or side to side or pivot or whatever um her legs can move just as you would want them to again really really good and her feet unfortunately can't move again it looks like it, lo it really really looks like to me like these feet should be able to move i don't know why just like it looks like you can just move them up and down but you unfortunately cannot um so let's actually talk about the accuracy with this figure uh so with the official teaser we can easily see that this figure is pretty pretty accurate the only things missing are the uh the whiskers and the eyebrows which are just supposed to be basically outlined but they're still white eyebrows um and overall though everything else is there she has her bow tie um she has all the stitching with, with several different colors and actually a really cool thing about the red is that you can actually feel it has a different texture than the rest of the the stitching and fur does on her suit and it honestly uh, is really really cool that just the texture of it is really nice um it's a lot the, the red is a lot more again red than i thought it would be i thought it'd be a bit more um on the uh the pink side but no it's it's definitely red and um i do like it it looks really really cool the hand and of course kind of the 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 leg right here oh uh, with the red looking really 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 cool and uh, again there's kind of like a blue here too uh, like a, a grayish blue i would say here uh around and it's really cool also there's this definitely just normal gray here um and again it's also here so yeah all the stitching is really really good um you can actually see some of the stitching um lines which is really cool and a nice detail that's added as you can see stitching lines yep so that's really cool and uh yeah also I, I i just have to say i love the feet shape again it's kind of weird but like they're very unique feet sh feet shapes we've never seen anything with this shape um before 
so yeah and here's just a back angle uh, again the ways it can pivot and uh yeah so she looks honestly really really good i do like it this figure quite a lot again it's the best figure out of the wave i would say and again i just don't I, i'm not a huge fan of the fact that like this my this knife won't really hold um I, and i wish that it could better because you can you can strike a pose with it and all but that's this is about all you're getting you know you can't really do much um it's fine though she she can hold it and that's what counts um you just gotta be careful honestly and i wish it was a little bit more of a grasp on this this figure but um yeah so here are my two security reach figures i got if you do want to see me review roxanne montgomery gator and glam rock chica do let me know in the comments i'm i might i might wait because uh these guys are actually only on gamestop's website right now and i might wait till uh they come on like amazon or something because amazon has faster shipping and i i just like that amazon prime at least so yeah i might get those guys eventually but i just wanted to get the two that i thought looked best um i do really like both these guys in real life they look a lot better especially uh freddy um fanny already kind of looked pretty good in the art so um i'm not disappointed with these guys at all there's not much else to say i do think that these guys are really good and it's a pretty decent wave unfortunately there is no build a figure in this wave which is a massive disappointment i think they could have had the four glam rocks be um be the the four main characters and then uh vanessa actually could have been the build a figure it would have worked out perfectly and uh, i'm a little disappointed that they didn't do that it just doesn't make sense as to why they missed out on that um and they could have even done a, a completely other character they could have done glitch trap or something but no they just they just didn't do a build a figure and again i'm not sure why because i would have bought all of the um all of all of the characters so i could get the build a figure because that's always the coolest part and the fact that that misses out uh, is for both a bad thing for the fans like the fans don't like it and also funko probably won't get as many people collecting each and every figure because of course they they just want the ones that they want they don't want to build a figure um because there's no build a figure so yeah that's just my opinion on that situation uh but i do really like these figures uh they look pretty accurate and really really good uh again glamrock freddy looks better in real life um than in the pictures and i have to say that kind of with both of them but definitely glamrock freddy right here but yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did happen to enjoy make sure to like comment and subscribe um i will see you guys next time take care bye